back to the sixth episode of A Slice of Coaching. I'm here with my Slice of Coaching partner, Coach McDaniel. Coach, how's it going? It's going real well, and I'm very glad to be your partner in A Slice of Coaching. Um, going real well. Uh, you know, summer's moving on right here in the beginning, and uh, we're getting prepared for our health and safety plan to be able to get back into uh, sports at the high school in the middle school. I'm looking forward to hearing that as well, Coach, and I'm sure you'll have some updates for us in, in the coming weeks. Um, I know we have some special guests this this week. Let's get right after what what's on the slate, Coach. Uh, we have Abby Boyer, who had a very good junior year for us, and looking forward to what she produces in her senior year for the youth basketball players. She's going to do some demonstration of some offensive and defensive drills, and the, the girls are going to get to know a little bit more about her after her segment. So uh, we're going to turn it over to Abby right now. Okay, so this drill is called three two one free throws. Basically, in this drill. You shoot five three throws and your goal is to get 13. If you swish it, you get three points. If you hit the rim once and it goes in, you get two points. And if you hit the rim twice or more and it goes in, you get one point. But if you miss, you get zero points. Some tips are to focus, positive thoughts, legs, and follow through. So I had three swishes, a miss, and a one-one pointer. So that would end up as this ten. Drill is called Tennessee ball handling, and you usually do this drill for more warm-up. So basically, for this drill, you just dribble up and down, doing any move you want. Key tips are to keep your eyes up and stay low. This drill is called the Diana Trossi drill. There's going to be two people on the outside and then one person in the middle. This person is going to be firing until the person passes the ball over to that side. And then this person is going to whack out with their high shoulder. The high shoulder is the shoulder farthest away from the basket. And then you'll play one on one. So touch the ball <laughs> and then you'll play one on one and you get three dribbles. And then you go right back to the spot and then they'll pass over to that side and you'll do the same thing. <laughs> this drill is called the Kentucky Tip Drill. And for this drill, if your opponent is on a fast break, you're going to want to come from behind and tap the ball in an upper motion to get the ball away from the opponent. This is how the drill works. And after you tip the ball to the other person on the other side, then they're going to pass to you for a layup. I'm Abby Boyer and I'm a junior and the best part about playing basketball is getting better every day and playing with your teammates. My teammates make practice fun by pushing everyone each and every day to get better. My favorite quote is no fear of failure. My favorite basketball player is probably Steph Curry. My favorite basketball team is the 76ers. My favorite college team is Villanova. When I play well in a game, I usually am excited and I feel like I have more confidence in myself. I don't have an exact song that I play before games, but I usually listen to hip hop or rap. My favorite movie is probably Grown Ups. Being an athlete makes you a better person because you want to strive for your goals and you're gonna have to make yourself have discipline. I was five years old when I started playing basketball. Other sports that I play are lacrosse and field hockey. My favorite food before a big game is probably spaghetti. My favorite subject in school is probably math. One word to describe me is hardworking. Attitude is definitely a big factor in winning. Being an athlete makes me want to do good because I always want to achieve my dreams. Being an athlete helps you be a better student because you need to get good grades and you also need to learn good time management skills. Thank you for demonstrating uh, the drills this week and also 
taking time out of your schedule to let the youth league get to know a little bit more about you. And uh, we really appreciate you doing that. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing the two segments and I enjoy like helping out all the youth league. Well, that's great. We know you do. We know how much you do care for the youth group and the the the, uh, the heart and soul you put into camp when we have camp. Maybe sometime we're gonna have camp. Uh, you know, sometime this summer, maybe in the fall. Um, and I'm sure we can get a couple of those young girls again. So uh, you do a great job at camp. Thank you. Hey, the main reason we have you on though here uh, today uh, on this segment is that uh, you were the answer to our. Episode five, girls basketball tradition question. Um, so why don't you tell the audience what the school record you set this past year and whose record did you break? In this season, I had I took 11 charges and I beat the school record of nine by Sammy Haas, who set that record. Yeah, and, and uh, that's a great record. And you know, and Sammy Haas is very, you guys are similar. She was just tough. She was a tough kid, man. It, a tough young lady and played hard and was on the state championship team, one of the big leaders of that team. And when you can take a record and you can, you know, be the record of someone of that ability and that mental toughness, that's saying a lot about you. And uh, so you being in that same category and going above her, congratulations, Abby, well deserved. Because we know how we know how tough of a young lady you are and how you want to win and how you give up everything for the team. So, you know, with that in mind. Um, when you take a charge, what's a proper technique to take a charge? And the second question on that would be, what does it take to take a charge, you know, physically and mentally to take a charge? Um, when taking a charge, you need to either cross your arms or keep your arms up. Personally, I keep my arms up, but also you need to tuck your chin so like you don't hit your head once you're going back. And also when you're standing, you need to stand still and straight up. And then once you do get hit by the girl, you need to fall back on your butt. So like you don't hurt your back or anything. But like when taking a charge, you need to know like that if you like there's a possible like possibility that you do get hurt and everything, but you need to be able like to take risks like for your team, sacrifice your body and just be all around for your team. That's very good. In fact, Abby, I think Injuries out of charges really occur more when you try to avoid taking the charge and you start to move out of the way or you bend down and you get caught. The best thing to do is stay in there and take it. And, you know, uh, we're going to show some of the clips of your charges this year a little bit that when we're done this segment. And, you know, one real thing that's really good is when you take a charge or anybody takes a charge on our team, what do your teammates do? They help you up. They go they over and get you right up. And then the bench is standing up cheering. Coaches are cheering. A charge generates so much energy, you know, in a gym. So, um, listen, you know, we started this a few weeks ago, uh, the Spring Forward Tradition, Girl Basketball Program Tradition, and we asked a question, um, you know, what about our past? So, Abby, um, why don't you tell them the question for this week? The question this week is, in the history of the Springford Girls Basketball Program, we have had four players named to the All-State team. Who are they? And then a bonus question is, if you can give the years and which team they were selected to. Awesome. So, yeah. So, hey, the girls or boys, whoever's out there listening, if you know those four girls that uh, made All-State uh, team selection and which team, first, second, and third, there is a first, second, and third team in All-State. Uh, if you can uh, email your answer to sfydrills at gmail.com. Again, answer, uh, send your answer to sfydrills at gmail.com. And if you're the first one in, you'll get a Dairy Queen uh, gift certificate. So, um, Abby, I really appreciate you taking time out on Friday afternoon uh, to take some uh, time and then uh, talk to our youth. Are you out there in the community of our basketball community? And uh, so we're going to end this segment. We're going to play some of your charges. So again, Abby, thank you. Have an awesome weekend. And, you know, hopefully we're going to see you on the court real soon. Thank you, you too. All right. Thanks, Ab. Bye. Coach, that was a, a great segment on Abby. You did a, a great job. And, and it was good to see her working hard. And, and you can tell she's putting some time in. 
on the off season and uh, she's poised for a, a stellar senior year, which I know you're looking forward to. Absolutely. She's a very hard worker. We appreciate all the effort she gives us. We do call her smiles at time coach because no matter what's going on, she smiles. So she always brings some levity to a situation. That, that's great to hear. On our end, Brian Yegley was the, uh, the answer to our, our question last week. He's the all-time charge uh, leader at Springford with 44 career total charges coach and uh, a season record of 20 charges in one season. Um, we weren't able to get Brian on. He had some uh, family conflicts, but um, you know, maybe one of these episodes we'll get him or some, some outstanding alumni on the show. That'll be awesome. Uh, I remember watching Brian play. He would always sacrifice his body for the, for the good of the team. And coach, um, the, your tradition question for this week, um, you want to you want, uh, tell the audience what it is? Yes, the tradition question for this week is, uh, we're gonna go in the coaching ranks and uh, we're gonna ask the audience who is the all time leader in wins and career winning percentage on the boys basketball side at Springport. Okay, looking forward to see how they respond to that question. That should be, um, if we're using basketball terms, that's a layup coach. Yeah, yeah, I, no, layup, I think it's a slam dunk really. And, and remember they can submit their, their answers to all of our questions at our, at our Gmail account and that's sfybdrills at gmail.com. And what about you coach? Do um, you have any guesses or? Uh, uh, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't let the audience. No, I'm, I, I know the answer. <laughs> and that's because I have the records in my office. I know all those records. So I have and he might answer. be a buddy of yours, too, as well, right? Yeah, uh, very, very close friend. Absolutely. Good. So um, next week, Coach. Right. Big week for the show. With us. Pardon? It's a big week for the program. Yes. Yes. What uh, do we got going on? Well, we got uh, – some of the leadership of the youth basketball are going to join us. Uh, Marty Magazzola, Kevin Christman, and Chris Yan. And we're going to have a round table with those three and, and the two of us. So talking about youth basketball and um, what's, what, you know, what's coming ahead uh, for the youth in this, as the season approaches. I'm looking forward to uh, sitting down with them. Um, it's, always, it's always fun talking to them. Uh, I'm sure they'll be insightful and and um you know maybe they can shed some light on you know all the the daunting tasks that that they have to endear throughout the year so i'm excited it's a, it's a loaded show next week coach as they say in the business yeah it will be a loaded show and you know if you recall the uh the round table we had with them in uh was it in this fall i guess it was yeah before the season started it was a yeah. great great sit down for about what 90 minutes two hours so that show won't be this long now. No. You know, much more abbreviated. But, Coach, look forward to seeing you next time. So, wish everybody out there to stay safe. Coach, you want to close us? Yep. We'll uh, keep make sure everybody's submitting their drills and answering the questions. We want to see our emails flooded next week. And uh, keep working hard. And we'll see you next week uh, at the roundtable discussion.